Yeah. He's, he's just saying. Oh. <laughs> Everything comes up from the back. Yeah. <laughs> we all come together. Okay, sure. Right, okay, because now uh, currently I'm doing my final year project. So I'll be doing smart lighting. So basically I'll also be using a uh, ESP8266 to, uh, to do control. Basically, uh, let's say if I connect this uh, at my home, it will automatic lock in into the uh, the router uh, ID and a uh, password, mm -hmm. and everything connect together. So you can see over here, right? This is the sensor. Okay, this sensor <laughs> is for the those like AC lighting. Mm -hmm. So this sensor has uh, many uh, functions, like um, you can do dimming control, you can do cut off timing. And the level of detection, right, you can de uh, set to a different uh, level, which means that because uh, some of the level will be higher or lower. So basically, this got a lot of, uh, a lot of setting that you can do. So basically, over here, you can see is, uh, okay, over here, right, this is the board that I use. Because, uh, let me take out this. Because for this project, I'll be using a uh, Arduino, and how yeah, I control all the setting is by this uh, Bluetooth device and the microcontroller. So the microcontroller is to uh, store all the memory, and the relay is to yeah, turn on and off the, the lighting. So yeah. let's say you want this to turn on the lighting or the want to uh, turn on the sensor, I will send the signal to uh, ESP. And ESP will do all the things. Very handy. So basically, yeah, my apps for the Bluetooth. Okay, I can I can show you. Switch mode. Input six to twenty three. Output zero to twenty three So this is my apps. So basically, I need to connect the Bluetooth. After that, I need to select the level that I would like to have. So there are different level like detection, whole time, daylight sensor, standby period, and so you're using like um, the Philips Smart Q lights and things like that to actually yes. okay because the okay so what for this sensor at first right is using a uh, binary switches mm. so it's let's say if I got more than ten lighting well then which means that I need to set it uh, ten times so it's not feasible so my whole idea. Uh, is by using a handphone <laughs> to do setting. <laughs> so there's a web browser. Okay, maybe I show the video is better. Sorry, I didn't do it in Bob's time. Quite no worries. Nice, no it's worries. Fine. This rush. <laughs> People want to see more the yeah the the hardware and the demo mm. more than mm. the PowerPoint slides. <laughs> okay, so this is an example of uh, project. ESP. At first, I using this uh, small little module to do testing. So, I how I connect is by uh, keying the IP address of each individual uh, of the ESP. So at, at the end, okay, at the end you can see right how I control multiple lighting. Okay, you can see this web browser. I using a, a Arduino and an internet shield. So mm. that one will be a so called a main. Uh, okay, main control, the main mm. brain control yeah. to control many light things. So for me, is I doing this for my company. There will be four, five light things all together. So there will be one server to control many of these parts. So the beauty of this project is that this you can plug out. Mm. Mm. Okay. This is the uh, okay. How I do is something like uh, Arduino. Because I really like use Arduino, I realize the beauty of the shield, right? You can plug out and plug in uh, as when you like. Because if, let's say if there's problem in this, you can troubleshoot. Sure. Yeah. Right, right. Modular. It's modular. Yeah. yeah. So how it connects is all by this. <laughs> so this is the you are using a wire wrapping nice. and do some soldering. Uh, that's all. Cool. Nice. Okay. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you you're schooling now? Ah uh, yes. In my final year, NTU. Ah, NTU. Very cool. Bring your classmates. <laughs> 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 we want students. We want students oh. to come. But this is very cool. <laughs> oh, stuff. actually, I forgot to mention one other thing. One of the things I do at NTU also is oh. um, the one of the, the mentors at Tech Excel, which is a accelerator on campus. So, if anyone's interested in um, just 
how to go from here to <laughs> where you've got a project and trying to actually figure out how do you put a company around it and actually make it work. Now, please call me. I'm happy to have coffee with anybody. Sit down and and uh, talk about that kind of stuff. Cool. Okay. All right. Any other stories? <laughs>